welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and today I will be showing you how I do my selfies and how I do my sexy posing and um, just overall that sexy look. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this and how I do my selfies and how I do those those sexy looks and intense looks and um, so this video is for that and I want to show you guys how to master that. I want um, y'all to feel like like you can do that too. Um, I never thought I would be asked this so many times but I am excited that I have because I don't want to be over here just posing all sexy and you guys are just like I don't ever want to make you feel uncomfortable or put your confidence level low I, you're gonna nail this too. You're gonna slay too. Oh, so just, I guess, just gonna call this video Getting Your Sexy On. So, <clears throat> I know it kind of sexy is portrayed a lot, to, obviously, sexual, but for me, yes, no. Um, I feel like we can be sexy but still be classy, you know? Just feel confident in your own skin and just showing a little and it not necessarily you have to just show body parts to be sexy because you can do it with something that I will show share it with you you can do this for your photos you can do this for um, if you want to flirt with uh, your crush or something like that so yeah so these are my tips and uh, let's continue I want to empower you to feel beautiful, to show that sexy side, because we all have it. No matter what you think or what society is telling you what sexy is, um, we all have that in us. So I just want to help you, empower you, and to show that side of you. First, you want to, before I say anything else, you want to do this for yourself. Um, of course, you can do it. Like I said, you're going to flirt with your crush. But make sure that you're always you're doing it for yourself in a very loving and classy way, and you can be sexy in a very classy way. You can show little, or you can show nothing, <laughs> and it can still be very sexy. So the first thing is be yourself. I know I I'm gonna show you poses and all that stuff, and it, and you know how to get the look and your face and stuff like that but be yourself because always even if you are a weirdo like me not very weird confident in yourself you won't feel comfortable in front of a camera or just overall you know um, it will just show in the pictures it will show in your body language always remind myself there is nobody like me and I just have to do the best. I have to be the best me and just um, be comfortable in that and live in that moment. Obviously I'm talking too much but the main thing is to remember is feel comfortable with yourself. Don't listen to what anybody says if you are or if you aren't. Just what you feel about yourself and um, feel confident that you there is no one like you and just rock what you have and just be true to yourself because like I said once you feel comfortable in your own skin you're just gonna be like I got this. So first major thing is you first want to practice um, looking at yourself in the mirror and um, you want to ex you want to practice your emotions sad, pissed off, um, feeling flirty, happy, um, being weird, um, just all those expressions. You want to practice that in a mirror and you want to take a mental picture of it. And I started with this in high school because I was on the dance team and I um, I wanted to match my express my facial expressions with the dance I was dancing to. I didn't want to have a super happy face and it was a super depressing song um, that would look very weird. So I practiced in the mirror and 
I learned over the years to just take mental pictures of like, ooh, I like that specific little look there. Or ooh, that little smirk. Yeah. Memorize it and I would be like, and then I would quickly look back in the mirror and I'd be like, if I got it how I how it was before I looked away, I'm like, I got this. When you're out and taking pictures, you're not always gonna have some mirror right there. And it makes picture taking time so much faster. I know as girls are like, okay, I'll okay, take a picture. Can I see the picture? Oh, no, 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 I don't like it. Okay, can you take another one? And then another one? And then, oh, like, oh, my nose looks weird. Uh, this is what this video is for. So you can be like, picture, hey, party, you know? So something like that. I want to help you guys on that. Um, Cause us girls can get carried away and be like, "Ooh, that's not my best angle there." Can you take another one? And you know, if a guy is do taking that picture for you, they're gonna be like, "That looked good to me," or they'll be like, "Really, another one? Really?" I would practice on um, the angles. Angles are so important for a photo. It makes the, diff the hugest difference. The most important angle is um, to the side. So I most I have pretty kind of a wide face, so I don't always look at my pictures straight on. Um, but when I do, I will show you how to make it look good still. This is my best side. Um, and I always, when I take selfies, I always do it this way. Sometimes I will do it this way, it just depends. My eyes are looking forward and my chin, this cheek area just turns. So I'm pretty much just turning my face and my eyes are still straight forward. And that is number one. So I kind of just warm up a little. Kind of like my face. And also kind of like with my arms or my legs, I kind of move around a little, stretch a little. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it, it makes a difference on like smoothing your skin out. And it's literally like seconds. You don't have to be like, 15 minutes, I'm working out. No, it's like seconds and literally like. Okay, I'm done. So that's literally that fast, a warm up, and it makes a difference. The most important body part you have is not below it is above and it is your eyes yes the windows to your soul I'm gonna show you the different eyes number one is uh, the sexy eyes it's the ones where you kind of like flirty so you can just kind of look direct and you can kind of look down and then back up slowly. Just keep that mental picture of like being flirty because once you have that in your head, you um, it's gonna show in your eyes. When you're doing the sexy look, it's more intense and straight on. And sometimes you can look really like straight on and you can look pissed. Sometimes it flies by, sometimes it doesn't. So you have to be careful on that. But you, when you're doing a sexy look, you just kind of look straight on. Because when you're looking mad, you're just like, versus sexy. It's a little bit more relaxed. Your eyes are a little bit more relaxed. So you just kind of want to keep them relaxed. When you do sexy eyes, you sometimes you can lift your eyebrow a little. So the next one is the sweet eyes. And it's the ones where you're like, a little flirty but a little cutesy you know and you just like you give a little smirk a little smile just practice smiling look at your eyes when you're do when you're smiling and then just drop that smile when you do the sweet eyes it's like with the sweet one it just kind of you want to keep your face relaxed so the next one is, I call it the thinker. <laughs> um, it's more of your eyes of looking away. So you're not looking straight on like the first two. You're kind of just like, oh, you're thinking. You're dazing off.
kind of way. So you get that kind of, not the deer headlight eyes, um, but you're kind of just looking off. Like, say you're talking, and then just look off. It's kind of a little bit more open than the other two. Now that we finished the eyes, I want to talk about um, the lips. And um, you don't want to do that duck face. I know it's, I like to do it, but that's when I'm just being like dorky, weird me. But when it comes to sexy pose, I try not, to, I don't do that. Like, because you want to pout. There is a way to pout your lips, make it look fuller without doing that. And I will show you. I do sometimes is I go like a. So you kind of want to have it open. And this is the ones that where you have your finger right here. You're like a. Ah. Like I. Oh. You. You. I kind of do my vowels because it's just more easy for me to remember. But you can just pal like, like, oh, and then a. Eh. You just kind of have that slight little opening in your mouth. You don't want to have it too much. The first pose that I'm doing is I'm short. So what I do is I just cross my leg over here and it makes me just look a lot longer. And then I uh, always have like, want to have my hands down. I just kind of like suck in my stomach. And then this kind of goes up a little, and then you're just popping your booty at the same time. Not that much, you don't want to be like this, all weird, but like this, just sucking your stomach a little, and this kind of lifts up. And then with your hands, you always want to keep your fingers relaxed, and then you just always want to push up on your collarbones. And that's pretty much the trick to kind of making it look a little sexy. It's just going like that, like lifting it up and bringing it a little bit forward. And, um, just pretty much that you always want to keep your hand, uh, your fingers relaxed and if this makes sense your shoulders down but kind of up like this and that's one and you can kind of rotate like this a little um, and then if you want to do like arms right here your, your hand right here all you want to do is just hug around your hips and um, this I feel like this helps me move this back and um, sometimes when I'm doing this pose I'll just lean back a little not too much and it makes me look a little taller and then so this is if you feel like weird putting your hands down here or your arms down um, cup around your hips and then what you want to do is you want to have um, your arms kind of at the side that I don't know and you just kind of want to lift it up you always just want to lift your collarbones up a little so like this and you can also switch your arms you can have one down you can have one up it just depends on you and like i said remember practice in the mirror what feels comfortable to you and just so yeah that's the first one pop your shoulders up and kind of rotate it um, forward a little and another thing is that I never really have my hands press hard against um, my body I just kind of um, lift it a little if you have to just kind of relax a little go ahead and do that um, but just kind of have it just hanging there but not pressing against and uh, that's just going to make your arms look a little bit thinner as well but what you want to do is you want to have your um, you, whatever leg you want to have it out. Obviously, this one's going to be the one that's supporting more of my weight. And you want to have it towards kind of like the side diagonal in a way. And I always have my hand on my hip. And I come, when I put my hand on my hip, I feel like I just rotate a little and I'm at an angle. So it's kind of showing a little bit of your booty a little. And at the same time, you're pushing this forward, so it's giving you that um, curve in your body. And um, if you are taking pictures like with your girls or you know you're out and something like that, what I always um, do, whatever side it is, when I'm doing this, I always make sure to have one arm down because you're pretty much going to be next to someone. Even so if you want to look slightly thinner, I'm not saying fat girl, but just chill, relax. Um, a little trick I do is 
I always position myself, angle myself to a diagonal or to the side. So it's making you're you're not showing as far as like straight on and you're going towards an angle so it's giving you that curve like I said before but it's also cutting a little bit off and just making you a little bit slimmer. So the next pose I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite ones. Um, your back is facing the camera but you're looking over your shoulder and have your chin kind of touch a little, not too much. You don't want to rest against it because you don't want to create that double chin right here. So you just kind of want to stretch out your neck, bring it forward and down and just kind of look over. You can have your hands relaxed here. You can have this hand up here. Um, whatever you feel more comfortable. I personally love to do this one or um, just kind of down and looking over. You want to kind of make your booty a little bit more rounder or a little bit nicer and lift it. What I do, you're lifting your heels again, and but one uh, one foot is a little bit taller than the other. And so whatever side you want to show more that definition, that line down here, this one is straight and it will have kind of show this right here. You want to just kind of do it like that. Another tip is that what I do with not creating a double chin, most people when they're taking pictures or when you're in front of a camera, you tend to kind of go like this or you're like this. Only move your body back, your stomach back, but what you do is you bring out your chin out and it's kind of curved down a little and it's going to give this more of a sharper look here and you're going to extend this and it's not going to look so double chinny and um, so you're just going to always kind of bring it forward a little and down like photos with grabbing your hair or making it look like you're grabbing your hair you're not really grabbing your hair what I do is um, I don't grab my hair because I don't want to make it look flat I usually use these three fingers if you are trying to like make it look like, oh, I'm brushing the hair out of my face kind of um, look, you just kind of want to grab these fingers and just kind of very little uh, or just by a little grab it, kind of not at the edge, but a little off of it a little and just kind of pull it back like that. Doing the other one like going like this, like ooh, kind of posing. Um, I always use just the tips of my fingers and I just kind of go on the back right here and I'm just kind of slightly lifting it up going like that you don't want to do this you don't want to put your fingers through and lift up because it'll just sometimes give you a weird shape or just something like that so you always want to just go like lift it like just very little amount and it's the same thing with um, if you want to put both of your arms what you want to do is you want to go the back of your head right here, um, behind, like kind of above your ears, um, and you want to do the same thing again, just slightly lift it a little. What I'm talking about is sitting down or something. This one's a little tall, but if you're on a seat that's lower and you want to cross your legs, I always kind of extend it out, and behind my knee, I connect it to, connect it to my other knee, and I just kind of lift it up a little or I just bring I tuck it in. Um, when I do sitting poses, I kind of just bring my shoulder down and over. So you can go like that. And you can just kind of make sure to have this relaxed. And you are curving your body. So you're giving that um, shape, that S shape or that curve to your back. You have to feel a little kind of uncomfortable, but you always want to stand up straight. Um, anytime I'm like on the ground or something, I don't go like this because um, as you can see here, this kind of lifts up. I want my arms to look a little slimmer. So I'll just go like this. Again, you're popping your collarbone and you're just kind of going, you're sucking your stomach at the same time, lifting this up and then like this. Another, like the one for this one, when I'm just kind of, a relaxed se sexy pose is that I'll have I always have my 
foot pointed out, like or my heel up, like this curved, and then I'll have this one out. So you can switch it to whatever you feel more comfortable, um, and then just kind of pop it like that. So you're still having your legs sexy and you're giving that curve, but you're kind of like chilled, relaxed. Like the next pose I'm going to talk about is kind of on the ground in a way. You have to feel comfortable enough to um, support your weight and kind of have that balance. Because um, uh, what I do is I bring both of my heels together and I'm holding that and that's supporting my weight. And that's how I hold myself together. So it's kind of the same thing like the chair and you're just curving your body. So you're just popping your booty out, bringing your chest to your boobs up more and um, you're just kind of curving your body back. You can have your hands right here, you can have it up here, um, whatever you want to do. So just make sure you curve your back. And when, anytime you want to put your head back, you just kind of want to put it slightly back and not too much. Um, you don't want to be like looking like your neck is broken or something like this. Um, so you just always want to you bring your shoulder down and just kind of, uh, you put it back a little. And you can also rotate it towards the back or whatever. I hope this helps you out and to getting your sexy on. And I'm wishing you lots of love and sweetness. Till next time. Hello, my channel. My name is Amanda, and for today, why am I doing this? Alrighty. Let's get to you. Told you I'm weird. <laughs>